It's time to talk about fragments, a really specific feature related to React. What are fragments? So let me just start to give you an example. Here I got this home page, which is displayed here under my header. And here I got a division with a paragraph inside. Okay, so I can't do this in, um, in actually in GSX. I can't display two elements like this uh, next to each other. What I gotta do is to wrap actually my whole GSX inside a parent element which is here the division. So inside the division, I can continue here and put here um, uh, everything that I want inside the division. So everything here in my tree, in my HTML uh, tag tree, will be under this division that I got here, okay? So you will ask, why do we need to do that, Guillaume? Because here, when you return an element in JavaScript, this element, cannot be chained. You, can you cannot have different element that needs to be related as a node inside your tree. You need to have one parent element. So here it makes sense that we have this division. However, if I import from React, okay, here, React, if I import the fragment here, if I type fragment, there we go, what I can do suddenly is to change here this division by fragment, okay? And if I do that, just look at the list, suddenly we can see that I can just separate every element as one node inside my um, HTML tree, tag tree, okay? So what I can do also is to import just here, uh, here using react.fragment, it will work also, I can import fragment as a, a single element and just displaying it but we are fine okay so here we can see that with fragment we can just display several elements in what case are we going to use that well if you want to target for example one element here let's say that this um, this element let's just put an id for instance guillaume whatever and here we can see that we have suddenly the id if i want to target this element and just not relate all every element of the parent i can do it this way that's the first thing you got to understand something it's that a react fragment it's a feature that allows you to group multiple elements without adding extra dom nodes so basically here how to use it we are we wrap multiple element by one component render method and we use them using either the fragment that we saw either the short end so the short end here it can be this um, tag here just chevron that you open and close immediately and it works exactly the same so you don't need here to import react it's working the same so what are the advantages what do we do we use fragments we use fragments to help keep GSX code clean. Here, we improve the code readability and we reduce any unintended CSS side effects, okay? So, you would use fragment when you want to mix different elements that you don't want to be related to the same parent. It's as simple as this. And it improves, actually, the performances. Why? Because when you had a new DOM element, the fragments render components faster and it's using less, less memories than creating one div like this, okay? So there is an impact actually on the performances on the DOM because by using fragments, you prevent the expansion of your DOM, which can definitely cause performances issues because the more elements you had, the more memory you had and it makes sometimes the debugging harder. Also, um, about the CSS, I was talking about the CSS. The fragments, they, it helps to uh, avoid unintended CSS impact to additional wrappers, okay? So basically, when you have um, CSS located on one element, you don't want the CSS to overwrite another CSS scope that you get inside the same parent. It happens really often. Um, the practical example that I gave to you here helps you to understand that um, we use fragments in scenarios where we want to mix different elements that are not under the same parent. And another best case where the fragments is very useful, it's when you want to render table with rows and when you want to add additional 
a development that would break the HTML structure. Of course, here in that case, if I wrap a shorthand fragment inside a big fragment, we can see that this element here is rendered as a string and has no HTML tag. Please try to avoid that kind of code here. You always want to wrap here inside your shorthand fragment an element like this, okay? Even if, even if, let me just show you the quick example, even if you just want to have a component that looks like this, you always want to have at the root here, you always want to have an HTML tag. Otherwise, as I showed you, there is actually three ways of displaying a fragment, the short end, the fragment itself, or using react.fragment if you are not inside a scope where you can just call React like this.